Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today's video, I'm going to go over this bolt-on receiver hitch. I'm going to put on my CTX-50, put a sliding ball in there, and see how it moves my trailer around. <laughs> This is a Vermeer CTX-50 mini skid steer. I have a grapple attachment for it uh, and also this bucket. And I also have a set of forks. But what I'm gonna do is I bought this thing on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I thought I was gonna have to fabricate one. I didn't know that people actually had already thought of this. I was thinking of drilling a hole through the bucket or something to get a ball on there to move the trailer around in tight spots. So I'm, I was pretty happy to find this. Um, let's put it on and pull the trailer around and see how it goes. So I think it just slides on. It does have that lip on the back there. It doesn't slide off and the kind of a balancing thing. It's plenty heavy enough. I think that's it. Here's a trailer. It's a 14,000 pound dual axle dump trailer. I had it custom built. It has that bed on the front to park the mini skid steer. Um, but I'm curious to see if the mini skid steer could pull it around empty. So I got this attachment on here. Give you a little closer look here. See how that does. Nah, I just had a thought that maybe I should reverse that to get a little higher. Because when I'm going to put hook onto the hitch, it's going to be pretty high up. I wonder if it's going to want to tip the mini skid steer. So I might have to change that around somehow. I bet just reversing this in the ball would be easy. So let's see how it goes. Well, that was a little easier to hook up than I expected. Super easy to hook up and unhook. Um, it is going to tip the thing because the bucket's so high. Deliberately leaving that foot up so I don't go pitching forward. Uh, I think I'll be able to move it around. I might end up dragging that foot a little bit. But let me move the camera back a little further and we'll see how it goes. Always had a hard time backing up to trailers um, and by myself no no especially because I don't use this trailer very much it's a school's trailer but I did have a thought I wonder if I could use a mini skid steer with that attachment and just lift the trailer on that would be cool let's see how that goes
people say this about loading up mini skid steer. It sure makes me nervous. A lot worse than doing tree work. I gotta get rid of those six foot ramps and either get eight or ten foot ramps. Um, I got a comment that says, you know, make sure you're on top of the machine and you back it up like that. And I looked it up in the manual and it said that. But it's just, it's too steep. You know, the, the little plate under my feet kind of drag on those ramps. Um, and then when I hit the top, that roll over to going back to flat, man, it, it's scary. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, so I think I am going to get some bigger ramps. Let's see how that goes. You can tell how nervous I am right here. <laughs> Getting ready to jump. Well, that was cool. I mean, you can move it. It's not quite heavy enough to move it perfectly, but you can definitely move it around. Uh, I liked it a lot. That bolt-on attachment on the mini skid steer worked really well. Um, that certainly is not the weak link. The overall leverage weight is the weak link. The way I could do better is somehow move that ball up higher so that the bucket could go lower. One thing I didn't realize until I started playing with this, though, is um, it, once I tilt that bucket down low, I can't see what I'm doing. So the bucket has to be up enough so I could see the ball to catch the hitch. So if you like that video, please uh, hit subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'll put a link to that bolt-on receiver hitch in the description. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. Maybe you have a better solution than mine. I'm sure you do. I'm sure some of you have a better solution to get the overall weight lower on that bucket. I wonder if there's a way I could actually put it on the grapple somehow. That'd be kind of cool. Um, all right. Well, thank you for watching.